Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I will show you how to knit the stockinette stitch. The stockinette stitch is one of the most basic fabrics of knitting, and it's produced by working knit and purl stitches, and it produces these iconic V's that many people associate with knitted fabrics, and it has a right side, which are the V's, and it also has a wrong side, if you flip it over, which are these little ridges. And this is the side that will normally face out in a garment or a piece, and this is the side that will face inward. And I wanted to show you another swatch. This is garter stitch. This is what happens when you knit all the stitches of each row, and it produces a reversible kind of ridgy fabric versus working a knit row, then a purl row, then a knit row, and so forth, and that will produce a fabric like this. So let's get started. I wanted to talk just for a moment. I'm using some worsted weight yarn. However, you can use any yarn you like. And if you're unsure about your knitting needles, just check the label, and you can look at the back, and it will show you the recommended needle size on your label. So let's get started. So again, to work stockinette stitch, we're going to work a row of knit, then a row of purl, then a row of knit, then a row of purl, and so forth. So our first row will be knit stitches all the way across. So a lot of times in patterns you'll see simply work stockinette for however many rows and that indicates just row one is knit, row two is purl, row one is knit, and so on. So if you come across that you'll now know what it means. So we're just working knit stitches all the way across. And again, this is called the right side of the fabric. Some people call it the public side of the fabric. I've heard that before. So we can just kind of straighten things out and then you can flip it over. So now this row, now we have the wrong side of the fabric facing us. And we're going to work a purl row. So we're just going to work purl stitches all the way across. to the end of our row. And I wanted to also mention one very important thing to remember about stockinette stitch is that it tends to curl. So if you're using natural fibers, you could block it a little and that helps or if you're joining it to something else, like if you're making a garment, like a sweater sleeve, you'll be attaching it to something else. Some people like to do ribbing along the bottom edge to kind of straighten it out and to prevent it from curling. But it does curl, and it's good to be aware of that when you're planning a project. So we finished our purl row, and now if we were to continue with our swatch, our next row would be a knit row. So, and it does, it does have a tendency to curl, like I said. So that is how you work the stockinette stitch. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure and click the red subscribe button to get all the latest Fiber Flux video updates. Thanks again!